In this video, we are going to be discussing milk feeding management for the orphan calf. An orphan calf is one that is not cared for by its mother. In a normal situation, milk will provide most of the nourishment a calf needs during the first few months of life. In the event that the beef producer must care for an orphan calf, understanding of proper milk feeding management is essential to getting the calf off to a good start during those first few months. Let's first talk about supplies. There are a few supplies that will be needed in order to successfully rear an orphan calf to weaning. Most of these things are fairly inexpensive. The first thing you'll need is milk replacer. We recommend a milk replacer that contains at least 22% crude protein and 20% fat. The feed tag shown here is for a standard 2220 milk replacer. This particular replacer is also medicated with a coccidia stat called decox. Replacers are often medicated with a coccidia stat, such as Bovatec or decox, to prevent coccidiosis. Although it is common for milk replacers to be medicated, you can also get non-medicated replacers if you wish. Twice per day feeding is generally sufficient and the amount of milk a calf receives should increase as it grows, but be sure to follow the specific feeding instructions on the bag. Regardless of whether or not you intend to teach the calf how to drink from a bucket or pail, you will still need something to mix the milk replacer in. Some kind of bucket with a handle is best, but not necessary. The bucket should be cleaned after each use, even if it's only used for mixing milk replacer. You will also need a bottle. This is a three quart bottle, but a two quart capacity bottle should be sufficient for most beef calves. You will also need a bottle nipple. It's important that the bottle nipple opening is small enough so that milk will not flow through when it is not being nursed. This is to prevent the calf from aspirating milk if the flow is too fast. The nipple shown here will do the job just fine. This is an example of a worn out bottle nipple that should be discarded. Notice how large the opening is. Milk replacer should be mixed fresh before each feeding. To mix the replacer, simply measure the proper amount of warm water into a clean bucket. The water should be warm, not scalding hot or ice cold. Then add the specified amount of powder to the bucket and mix thoroughly. I like to use a wire whisk for mixing, but feel free to use whatever tool is easiest for you. Be sure to mix in all the clumps or powder that sticks to the side of the bucket. The next step is to feed the calf. Now this calf is a little bit older, so he gets right down to business and knows that it's time to eat when the bottle comes. Younger calves will often take a little more work to get started at each feeding. It's generally recommended that a calf stand up to drink, but if it's a very young calf, like less than a day old, that has trouble standing, lying down is acceptable if you can't get it to stand up long enough to drink. Young calves tend to get pretty wobbly, so you will likely need to get into the pen to help stabilize them while they're drinking. You can back them into the corner, stand to the side, or if you're tall enough, you can straddle them as shown here. When supporting under the chin, it's important to avoid forcing the nose into an unnaturally high position. A general rule of thumb is to keep the calf's nose level with its eyes. This is to prevent accidental aspiration of milk as the calf drinks. As calves get older, you probably won't have to go into the pen to help them to drink. Most will just come right up to the edge of the pen to take the bottle. You also have the option to train the calf to drink its milk from a bucket instead of a bottle. It's generally recommended to wait until the calf is five to seven days old and drinking well before making the transition. While it's not necessary to train the calf to drink from a bucket, it's sometimes more convenient for the producer. There is no consistent scientific evidence that suggests that drinking milk from a bucket is superior or inferior to a bottle. The best way to train the calf to drink its milk from a bucket is to let it suckle on your fingers for a few seconds and then gradually guide its mouth down towards the milk. Once its mouth is in the milk, slowly remove your fingers from the calf's mouth and allow it to drink on its own. Some calves learn much quicker than others. This calf here actually learned pretty quickly, but some will take multiple feeding sessions to fully catch on. Sometimes if a calf keeps pulling away from the bucket and seems more interested in you, it can help to simply walk away for a few minutes to see if it resumes drinking on its own. This may help break the association between you and the milk 
so that the calf will drink from the bucket on its own. After the calf is done drinking, it's important to clean all of the materials that came into contact with the milk, including the bottle, nipple, whisk, and bucket. You should clean all of these items with soap and water and allow them to air dry. Cleaning is important because any leftover milk residue will promote growth of bacteria that can make the calf sick. It can also attract flies in the warmer months. The next question you might have is, when should I wean this calf? Generally, a calf is capable of being weaned once it's consuming between a pound and a half to two pounds of grain per day, which may be as early as six to eight weeks of age. While a calf is capable of being weaned at this time, you don't necessarily have to wean this early. However, level of grain consumption, not age, should be used to determine readiness to wean. Once adequate grain consumption is reached, you can begin the weaning process by dropping to once a day milk feeding for about a week before completely eliminating all milk feedings. 